Hey you, so on this video, current buying strategy for beginner, long term or lifelong or mid to long term stacking. I'm just going to be going over um, what I'm currently doing, um, advice as individuals ask me if I find any coins, um, do a video as a, for a heads up and just where I am currently in this time of the year. So we're at the tail end. Um, another couple more months release this video and we come to the end of the year and so I haven't been too aggressive so I'll just give my views on what I'm currently doing it'd be great to hear what you're currently doing now and where you currently are if you're long term if you're a beginner I know there's a lot of um, individuals that have started a couple of months back now that I've been in contact with and it's good to hear so I'll just go over um, if you're giving advice what I would be doing if I was in that same situation now. So starting, of course, from the bottom up, it's going to be for a beginner. It's asks, you know, what coins am I looking at? I've got these fractionals in the background. And, you know, is it a good time to be buying and the likes of? And I would say getting into this now for any beginner or somebody that's just started been stacking for, I'd say, even this year or less than six months, right in here, right now is a fantastic time to be buying. You know, you've had individuals say it could go lower. Um, we don't know where it's going to go. And, you know, we've had um, interest hikes. We've had damn near everything that could happen. It's the time of the year when we get some of the lowest dips. Pundits are feeling strong. You know, everybody can feel it in the air, but we get the same chime every year around the same time. But there has been some fantastic buying opportunities. I will say that it's silver has shot up a little you know, which was kind of surprising as it was really down. Um, I'll get on to where it for me is, but I would say for anybody purchasing now, you couldn't have a better time than now, especially if you're focusing on gov minted weight. And this is where I am and what my strong point is. Of course, there's generic and bars and the likes of, but if you're along the same kind of lines as myself, there's some fantastic deals out there, you know. I would be buying, buying, buying. If anything, I would be trying to... Um, you know cramming as much buys now within the past i'd say september and even october as the, the price has been fantastic it's been the best it's been all year so if you're an individual just getting in now you know asking how much should you spend or the like so i'll do a video on that at some point maybe but i would say right here and right now even though we have the current little spike in the silver spot price it's now you want to be buying it's fantastic opportunities the prices are are damn right very attractive you know i've been looking at prices on some monster boxes and the likes of and you know they couldn't be better so that's would be the current strategy advice for an individual that's just been stacked i'd say even if you started in the beginning of say 2018 you know right here and right now is the best opportunity and time to be buying it's the best i've seen both especially for gold also um spot price it's the most attractive who knows what's going to happen as the months go on people have screamed we're going to be seeing lower they always scream you know and then those that scream we're going to be seeing higher are always going to be still screaming from the same hymn sheet so i would say take advantage of it now because going by what it's been in the previous years these couple of months here i would say from september to november december it's the best opportunities if it goes lower you if you're in this and you've just died you've only got more opportunities but i would be definitely going in real aggressive now and i've done that in the past now um on to the next one i would say mid-levels individuals individuals that have been stacking for i don't know a year plus you know um have struggled into more of the collector coins and the likes of where i am on that level i would say i'm in all stages technically i'm a you know always out there learning from the beginning i'm a mid-level cowboy flipper and i'm a lifelong stacker so my current strategy along those lines have been there's been a lot out in terms of collector coins but not too many that have caught my eye or attention where i am right now with all of the coins coming out and there is a lot of collector coins out not so many from the usual suspects but everything that's come out from them this year i haven't really picked up but i can't see for an individual looking at any coins for instance that i would have picked up in 2017 they're already selling for a premium now so i've already said i think a lot of the offerings from perth would be a fantastic buy to 50k and below for any individual along those lines, if you can get them now, the first stop, you know, the first takeoff, there's no reason why you shouldn't be grabbing those. Uh, for myself, um, I still need to load up on the Queen's Beast. 
So it's a series that I'm definitely going on. I don't know whether I'll be changing my strategy and maybe limiting my silver buys to trying to complete a box of Queen's Beast coins. So I believe you get 200 ounces in the box there, a whole box, and that'll be my whole silver purchases for a year. That may be a strategy change for me, just going for a box of each, starting from the Lions onwards that I've already up to the dragons i believe but i'm currently in two minds what to do there britannia's have been looking very attractive i've had a few inquiries as to what would be a better buy now you have the oriental borders and you have the anniversary coins now I, from what i understand the oriental borders they both come down if <laughs> if you're just starting i would say go for standard britannia's because you know i've liquidated a few of each for an individual and when it came down to it, you was basically getting the same price. I know you may be holding out for the long, long term, but since Royal Mint introduced their sentry boxes and, you know, putting them in back sealed rolls of 20, you know, going along the lines of the Perth Mint, those coins, they haven't tanked, but there's been nothing spectacular coming out from them, any of them, unless from the... They had the Landmark series where they had the Big Ben and the House of Parliament. They had the double dragon coin that came out. They had the oriental border. They had the anniversaries. I'd done a video on those when I traded in my swan coins for those. So those are still fantastic. All of these coins have done okay. You know, if you're getting in now at these low prices, yeah, it's great to get some of those. But I wouldn't personally load up on them. You know, especially if you're thinking which is best. I would say your standard Britannia because you can get it cheaper, even though it could be anywhere from a dollar or pound or three dollars um cheaper or more or, or more over a standard i would personally go for a standard all are nice coins but none have done fantastic things when you bring a new coin out i believe their anniversary coins were 100k mintage or 50k i believe it was 100k and it's just done the same thing in terms of increasing in value it's done nothing you had the trident privy that's the one there and the oriental board as nice as they are They've not done nothing fantastic. So having those and having Britannia's right now, I would say you'd be better off with Britannia's. Even if you could save yourself a couple of pounds, whether it be a hundred or you know dollars or pounds in the long run. That's where I have been in terms of picking any up. I haven't focused on any of those either. Even though price has been very attractive, I'm being very very picky when it comes to silver. You know, with prices said to be going lower i've been waiting on that and i'm in a position where i literally can afford to wait i'm in no rush to run in for anything nothing collector coin wise has jumped out to me that i thought of any urgency to pick up silver price spot price has been fantastic but as i'm mid to lifelong stacker i'm still waiting um i do have some funds tied up in as the bell goes um cryptos so we're seeing how that goes but that's another arena but interesting things are happening over there so it's very dormant at the moment so it's just a waiting game so while i'm waiting over there um nothing's really tickled my fancy over here now when it comes to life time stacker i myself lifelong you know it's a lifestyle for me um where i've been has been with most of the majority of the purchases have been gold purchases i do have a few coins i'm still waiting to get in from the dealer i've made a few purchases but i'm just combining them and just waiting to get them all shipped out so he's been very flexible so it's been convenient for me but when i have picked up via bitcoin as i've done a video on it's been the shiny stuff here that i've been picking up just you know your standard you know everybody regardless of what stage you are is going to be taking advantage of the current um, spot price if you are purchasing or if you are lifelong and lifetime picking up and for me it's been focusing on this stuff here and whereas i've been able to get it with bitcoin it's worked in my favor and it's been more um you know better for me in the long run just doing it via that way as i've had money over there and then been picking up over here but also been picking up coins but this is the only thing I've been focusing on, but I'm still buying, so it would make no difference. I've worked on trying to get my gold in line with my silver now, so I would even love a 50-50 or even, you know, a tad bit more, 70-30, 60-40 gold in favour of gold, so we'll see how that goes. But that's where I am currently coming towards the end of the year. 
we, we damn near get all of the coins out now so any collector coins unless it's going to be a surprise release we know what we're looking at we are waiting on the perth mint lunar free be nice to see if i could do a video on that but i'm sure somebody will pick it up from mentioning here now um i don't know what i'm going to be doing with that i've mentioned i'm not too keen on it at all we should have got um the animal release by now I believe it's going to be the mouse again and they do start Luna free so we may see something pop off from there we just had to pick I don't think all variants of landable dealers yet but I can't see nothing special landing between now and Christmas we've got the Queen's Bees offering uh, of course I'm going to be topping those up I'm going to just do a, a headshot all at once once a couple of things land on the other side so those are definitely a continuation that I'm going on with but until then it's going to be you know everyone's at the edge of their seats thinking we're going to get some type of explosion the end of the world um spot price tanking or spot price you know shooting it's been very steady i will say that you know we have i've, I've expected bigger swings not upwards surprisingly but with brexit down near six months plus we'll see how that one plays out and what goes on from there which i will touch upon again also at a later video but that's where i currently am on my stacking strategy whether it's you know intermediate or beginner or lifetime lifestyle stacking and just the tips and advice i'd give to individuals asking on what i would do if i was at that stage there so it'd be fantastic to hear what your current strategy is you know has it been as you expected this year at the tail end have you picked up all the collector coins have you been swerving all the collector coins have you switched from silver to gold or gold to silver which one do you think is the better buy right now you know that seems to be, be the big thing out there silver's much cheaper or gold is a fantastic buy and individuals are waking up and changing strategies massively you know once upon a time a lot of people have silver in their name whether it's silver stacker or silver stacker you know and they're getting more heavy gold now and just cut, cutting that out or you know just going digging deeper down and doubling down on the silver so it'd be great to hear what you're current do it what currently doing in your current strategy in the comments uh hey i love it guys it'll be fantastic to know what you think of this video go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already and i'll catch you guys on the rebound